Okay, this is a short introduction to GDB, the GNU debugger. So, to install GDB on Windows, you need to install CodeBlocks or SegWin because you need GCC and all the supporting tools also. And you set it in your path code block, so it's available from the command line also. And Linux GDB should be pre installed. And when you compile your code, just make sure you use GCC minus G flag for debug flag. So you say GCC minus G or G plus plus minus G and minus wall means all warnings and you compile a C plus plus C program and output is the exe file and why do you need warnings because a lot of times half the mistakes can be fixed by just looking at the warnings before you even start debugging your code then how to use GDB so in the, in the command prompt bash or CMD you say GDB and the exe name which has a debug information in it and then you say uh, you'll get a, this is a GDB prompt and then GDB prompt you can type help to see all the commands or you can look at the GDB manual by man GDB or you can just type GDB in Google and read the whole manual and then you say run and the arguments to the exe file test one it could so then the program runs and you get hello world and if it gets stuck you say kill and to kill the program and then when you're done with GDB, you quit. And the most important command in GDB is the backtrace command. Backtrace shows you the, the call stack, the frames. So in this case, you type BT, the short form for backtrace. You see that the libc uh, called main and main call function 1, function 2, and the argument x equal to 30. And the and the source code was test.c at line 5 and then frame you can change your frame where you're pointing in the frame which frame you want to examine say frame 2 it shows you the main number 2 out here and then you want to get more information on the, st on the stack frame you say info frame it says okay it's stack frame level 2 the, the address is here and then you can see the, the instruction pointer was this and the and it was called from main at test and the source code was test of C line 19 and the arguments are given the previous frame pointer is there and the, the register saved and you can, if you want to see the local variable say info locals info arguments gives you the arguments to the to the exe and the most important uh, thing you'll be doing once you start a debugger will be to set up breakpoints where you want to stop so you can say break a file name source name dot line number or function name or class name colon colon function name and a type because it, the function can be overloaded in C++ sometimes you just want to stop once you say T break for temp break main so it will stop once and you can get a list of breakpoints with info breakpoints and you can turn on or off breakpoints with disable enable and sometimes you want to run many times till actually find a problem you say ignore breakpoint to five times and then you want to stop at the fifth time so what you do is you run after you have everything ready you run the thing if you want to stop you can say control C and you get the program gets again and then you can examine it the thing where it got stuck in the backtrace list will show you the source code near it and you can print a variable X by saying print X and other things you can do Okay, you can do is call your function when you stop. Your C function, by say call function 3, with argument equal to 3. And then you can go line by line by saying next, next. And if enter will actually repeat the last command. And if you want to get into a function, you say step. It will go inside a function. And when you get out of a function, you say finish. And if you don't want to step line by line, you can just say continue. It will start running till it is the next breakpoint or something happens. And then you can print date. Uh, data pointer in a formatted in certain manner also it's a pointer to a string this is a format x slash s p t a pointer so x will be printed as a string or four characters or binary or hex you can even change a value by saying the set function calling the set on the variable name and you can get list of what information about registers by saying info info is a lot more you can look it online in or in the manual the other thing you can do is hardware breakpoints. That is basically some memory is changing, reading or writing, someone is reading or writing unexpectedly. You just say watch, watch X or R watch or A watch. R watch means stop when somebody reads the thing. A watch means somebody accesses it. 
and it's useful when you don't know who's corrupting where the data is getting corrupted and if you want to see the object code in assembler you just say disassemble main you'll see main is a symbol of the main function and it will show you the code what's in main uh, or you can if you have the source code you just say gcc minus capital s and you get assembly file and you can view the dot s file and if you sometimes you need a GUI so you can say GDB minus TUI it's a built-in UI and if you really want to debug large amount of code you, you have to use code blocks which is a free debugger it has GDB built into it with a command line and if, if you don't have anything at all you can use Emacs escapex GDB will run and split the window into source code and a GDB command line and if you really want to get more about the GDB you need to look at the manuals and the com commands that you use all the time you can put it in dot GDB in it like aliases like short name for long commands or things that you do every time like T break main and all the fun you can also create small functions helper functions in GDB in it we don't want to cover it in this one but you can look online and the other option is to use Visual Microsoft Visual Studio which is a really good debugger and in fact a lot of people debug in Visual Studio and then compile on Linux if it's a plain code so that you, you can get the advantages out of Visual C which is really uh, there's nothing matching Visual Studio and a kernel debugger that WinDBG software is lots of debuggers we won't look at those and Linux also has a kernel debugger KDGDB KDB and then code blocks and DDD are the UI versions they're not as they are the only thing that's available right now for free and if you really have hard problem which you cannot catch in a debugger kind of a memory leaks or memory problems you use Valgrind or Purify Purify is from IBM and Valgrind is a free and if you really want to have ba uh, warnings about things that are like not really the good style you run lint on it or you can even do GCC minus wall which is basically requirement before you try to debug to find all the possible warnings that things that you shouldn't be doing in your code that's about out of about GDB thanks